big thing in my life is fear has been a huge thing that's held me back forever. Obviously, you can see from my slide, fear is a huge prison that we all deal with. It's something we all know, we all understand to an extent, but we don't know how to get over a lot of times, or at least I didn't. So what my story was, is my whole life I've had these fears, I've had this bucket list of things I've wanted to do, uh, places to go, things to do, I just, I couldn't get over it. I knew that one day I was going to regret these things if I didn't take th this fear head on. And so... I became obsessed with fear. I wanted to know why am I afraid of these things? Why you know, do other people share these things? So I became just obsessed with uh, how to get over fear. So uh, I began asking some of my friends. I became very curious. I wanted to know what do, you, what do they do to get over some of their fears? And through all my research, I came to, to find out that you have to go after your fears. You have to face them head on. And so I kind of set out my fears. What are my three biggest fears in life? It was fear of heights. Uh, I was scared to death of getting in shape. Um, I didn't know how to defend myself. So 2006, I was fat, I was overweight. Uh, one of the unhappiest times probably in my life. All the things I was fear were happening. So all these things I wanted to come over, I, I was like, okay, I'm going to tackle this on head on. I want to get over these. So first thing was <laughs> going to the gym. It's one of the most fearful things if you don't know what it's like. You've got this, all this weird equipment, these big tough dudes. Everybody's looking at you weird and judging you. And so I, I was fat and overweight. So... I started to ask my friends, you know, what do you guys do? You obviously know the gym. My friend Justin, one of my best friends, he's like, I asked him, do you lift? Can you help me do this? So we go to the gym. My first time to go to the gym ever. Uh, we ran, we lifted, I pass out, I wake up, chin's bleeding. <laughs> Who'd have thunk, right? My biggest fear, but now I've, I've done it for five, six years now. It's one of my greatest passions. It's something that I love now. I can't wait to go to the gym. Uh, I've embraced it. Now I'm doing things I never thought I could do it ever in my whole life. So what I was afraid, afraid of is now one of my greatest loves. I love going to the gym. The next thing was about my height. I, I can't even go to the mall and look over the edge without getting that, ooh, scary feeling. So a good friend of mine, Travis, I, I was talking to him. He was a rock climber. I said, Travis, you know, how, do you, how do you go up there and not be so scared of, of these heights? You know, how do you climb these mountains? And so he took me one time. And I, you know, I, I'd always give him excuses why I didn't want to go. But we went, and there was this thing that... You look down and you're, you're so afraid, but you've done it. You know, you've gone over that fear. So I started becoming more and more obsessed with this and getting over it. I'm, you know, as many times I asked Travis, he'd always tell me, you know, if you're going to find an excuse for something, it's because you want to. And when you finally get over that point that you actually want to take on that fear, you will. And so I went rock climbing with him. Um, I still to this day, I, I'm definitely afraid, but I went last weekend, I go as much as I can, and it's something now that I've embraced, what I was super afraid of, but now I love. I love going so much that I even went skydiving last year. Never thought I'd be able to do that. Of course, they had to shove me out of the plane, but I did it. And so next thing, I was very, very conscious of, of getting you know, beat up or mugged or something, and I wanted to train, but I didn't know how to go about it. You know, you remember the old Cobra Kai's are all tough, and everybody's going to beat you up, and they're all thugs and everything, and... So about four years ago, a good friend of mine, Luke Woodard, said, come try jiu-jitsu with me. <laughs> What's jiu-jitsu? A bunch of old guys rolling around with each other and wrestling. I'm a grown man. I don't do that with other grown men. But I was afraid of getting beat up. Uh, there's no cool way to get choked. I mean, there's no cool way at all. You're going to look like a goober. You're going to be afraid. But I go, and I've been doing it now about seven or eight months, and it's something I've, I've grown to love. What I was afraid of is now is what I love. And, and since I've done it, I've found more things ever. I've inherited a family. I've got a great uh, group of caring people that love me. And it's something that I never thought I was going to do, but here I'm doing it now. I, I go every time. I'm, I'm deathly afraid when I go. You can get hurt. You can get injured. But it's so much worth it. So what does this all mean, this fear? This, you've got to figure out how to control your fear. You don't want fear to control you. But one thing that I, I want to get across is that I'm still afraid of these things but I'm less afraid than I was when, before I started it. So I want to pass on to you, how can you go and challenge some of your fears? And th the only way is to go and do it. There's no simple way, there's, you can't get something for nothing. So you've gotta go out there and find out what your fears are. And who knows, you might actually love them, right? You, but you're not gonna do it by just sitting at home thinking about it. So kind of what I do is uh, I go and I experiment with it. You know, I, I learn a little bit. Uh, I kind of sit down, what are my results? And I go again, I'm still scared, but I'm experimenting. And so it's always this cycle. You're always going to have fear, but out of it grows love, love for this fear. And so if there's anything I can hand off to you guys is go out and challenge some of these fears. Figure out what your fears are. Figure out, ask friends, look online. 
just go and don't be afraid because you never know these fears may be what you actually love and you may embrace. So I hope you go out and do it. Thank you.